we're all pretty exhausted and pretty inspired and it was a, it's been an amazing afternoon for us we arrived here and uh, we just we got into town uh, sometime early this morning and we slept all day and because uh, <laughs> uh, we're in that we're in the middle of our tour so it's that point you reach a certain point in your tour where you're just kind of sleeping for as much as you possibly can but then we woke up to find it uh, we went looking for tea and uh, we found lots of Barack fans and we just sort of followed them. Yeah. And so skipping on all the official stuff that we were meant to do here. Uh, so it's pretty miraculous that we're in this position right this second. <laughs> um, so here's a song called Round Out and the song is about a... Uh, I'm going to tell you a very quick story uh, related to this song. Because I have to, it's kind of one of those, uh, the song and the story go together. Uh, there's, um, there's a lady we know back in Ireland that she's very spiritually advanced. It would probably be the best way to describe her. She's a very powerful woman. She, uh, she works in a health food store, that's kind of her regular job. And, but she goes to people's homes and she, you know, she does like Reiki and she does healing. But also, in, you know, one of her other jobs that she does is she's a, she's a ghost poster. She's a, <laughs> she, she goes to people's homes and if they're having trouble with lights going on and off or presences or fe weird feelings, she'll go and she'll just, she'll just hang out. <laughs> she'll locate the, the energy uh, you know, problem and she'll communicate. And she says that quite often what happens, it's very common that people die and they don't know they're dead. They just continue with their lives to carry on because death was like this weird little chapter that happened to them that they just sort of continue on. And they don't understand who these new people are living in their home. Uh, because they just continue with her. And so she basically comes and informs them, okay, listen, at some point you passed on and you're no longer here, that you're sort of somewhere in between. So, and she opens a portal, you know, and I, I don't know exactly what it is. She basically, basically, the idea is that she says, there are all these realms that we can go to. Some of us choose not to. Some of us choose to stay on this plane and just sort of hang out among the living. But the problem with the living is the, li the problem with them is that they're not listening to the dead. So, so there, is, there isn't that, you know, some are, but most of us aren't. And so <laughs> the dead tend to go for another notice on this plane. And she was basically saying to them, you, you know, maybe you need to go to another place and where, where you're kind or, or, or they uh, Whether it's heaven or hell or whatever, I do not know. You're just being sure <laughs> but uh, she was telling us this amazing story about one evening she, she and her husband do this work together, and one evening her husband basically, quite often what would happen would be something would channel itself through one of them, and the other person would communicate with it, and you know, they would talk, and they would send it to a good place, or whatever. And her husband said, listen, I'm in a, this is, I'm in a really strange mood, I think there's something coming, uh, maybe we shouldn't go just yet, maybe we should sit down and let whatever this is coming through come. And so she sat them down, and they waited for a few minutes, and she said it was really strange, the room filled with this really odd, heavy atmosphere and very heavy kind of smell and she said it was really really weird just this kind of atmosphere came and she sat with him and she's like are you with me and he's like yeah I'm here I'm still here and, and eventually he was gone and she said okay and she knew whatever it was was suddenly there you know in him she said who are you and uh, nothing you know again who are you are you do you need to say, do you need to say something who are you and after a few minutes basically what came out of her husband's mouth was we come from the dark she was like, okay. Uh, <laughs> where? What dark? What do you mean? And again, we come from the dark. And she got kind of freaked out because she's dealt with like many different kinds of energy, but this was like very specifically dark, heavy, ugly, strange energy. So she has this kind of quick fire move she can do, which basically expels the spirit from her. <laughs> Get out of my husband. Uh, Get me out of my husband. Uh, <laughs> Thing that she can do, where she basically got her husband. She was like, "Are you okay? This, it was really that was really heavy. I don't like." And her husband was like, "Listen, that was horrible. Uh, but whatever it is, I really want you to try communicate with it. If it happens again, I think it will. And if it does, I want you to try go all the way with it and find out what it is and if it needs our help because that's what we do. You know, we help things and we we help spirits like this." So a few days later, her husband came to her and said, "I think this is going to happen again." Please sit down, whatever it is, go through it all the way, I'm fine, don't worry about me. She sat him down again, the same foul, weird atmosphere that appeared, the same smell, the same ugly, the same heaviness. And again, her husband drifted away, and this person, or whatever this was, came through. Who are you? We come from the dark. Where in the dark? From the darkness.
what are, to describe where you are, and basically through communicating from a long time ago. And basically what she discovered from talking to this spirit, it turned out there was two spirits, there were two brothers, who had been killed in their late teens in the 1400s in Ireland. And what it was was they, they were both born with like walking disabilities. And the two of them basically used to sort of stumble around the town. There was absolutely nothing wrong with them except that they couldn't walk properly. And, uh, and the, the local priest had sort of deemed them possessed by the devil and decided that the two of them should be burned at the stake. And so these two young, these two young boys were, were burned with the whole town witnessing this, the idea that these two, you know, devil souls were being killed. And so these two boys were, were, were I guess, were killed. And she, and she basically explained that you, you did nothing wrong. Because she said this foul atmosphere, what's, she said, what's the story with this foul atmosphere? What's going on with all this heaviness and we come from the dark? You know, you're not in the dark, you're absolutely fine. You were killed and you've, and she asked them to describe where they were and they said they've walked in complete, ugly, strange, black, swampy blackness for hundreds of years. And that uh, on the horizon, they saw these two tiny pinpricks of light. And they walked and walked and walked towards the light because there was nothing else on the horizon. And when they finally got to those two tiny pinpricks of light, it was the back of her husband's eyes and they saw her. And so she was the first person, the first person they've come across since they were killed. And she explains to them that <coughs> religion has, has changed a little bit. Um, <laughs> and that, that this doesn't happen anymore. You know, uh, and that you didn't do anything wrong. And so she, uh, she, she did her work for the Buba. <laughs> she sent them on to a higher place and she said it was amazing when she was explaining to them about the, the spirits, how the energy lifted and suddenly yeah, the atmosphere was really good and these two young boys, these two kids basically went on to a higher place uh, and so I wrote a song about that and uh, this song is, is, is about basically the idea that you're walking for a long time in a dark place carrying a heavy guilt about something that is actually not a problem so if you're carrying that please just fucking shed it. <laughs>